हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम्स इन ऑटो कैड बेसिकली देर आर टू कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम्स वन इज कार्टीजियन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम एज यू कैन सी कार्टीजियन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम इट हैज x and y as the coordinates x coordinate and y coordinate and the second coordinate system is polar coordinate system which is in the form of r and theta right let us move further now there are certain methods with which you can specify locations of points in autocad so under cartesian coordinate system there are two methods one is absolute cartesian coordinate method other is relative cartesian coordinate method so both have different uh, syntax the syntax for cartesian coordinate system is actual x coordinate comma actual y coordinate so you just need to enter the actual coordinates of the figure right like x comma y simple okay no other symbol no bracket no at the rate nothing so just have to enter x comma y similarly the next part is next method is relative coordinate system relative cartesian coordinate method okay so here the syntax is at the rate distance moved in x direction comma distance moved in y direction with respect to the previous point okay so this you need to remember here you have to write the syntax and you have to move according to the previous point in relation to the previous point that is why it is known as relative coordinate method right let us see the next coordinate system this is polar coordinate system under polar coordinate system there is a method which is known as relative polar coordinate method right so for this the syntax is at the rate distance moved less than angle so here you will be specifying the distance moved how much distance you are moving with respect to the previous point less than angle less than is just a symbol okay and you have to specify at what angle you are moving right so this is the relative polar coordinate method so let us draw a figure using the method of absolute coordinate method so let us draw a figure in the autocad using absolute coordinate method so you can see in this figure i have named all the corners as a b c d up to h let us write down the various coordinates so if i suppose the coordinates of a are 0 0 so accordingly the coordinates of b will be 60 comma 0 coordinates of c will be 60 comma 8 coordinates of d will be 43 comma 8 coordinates of e will be Forty three comma twenty two coordinates of F will be sixty comma twenty two coordinates of G will be sixty comma thirty coordinates of H will be zero comma 
right so we will be drawing this by absolute coordinate method right let us write down So the syntax for absolute coordinate method is actual x coordinate comma actual y coordinate right so accordingly we will draw this figure let us discuss what will be the algorithm in the autocad first of all I will be selecting line command and pressing enter after that it will ask me for the first point right it will ask me that specify the starting point the so starting point is a and for a I have taken the coordinates as 0 comma 0 <coughs> right 0 comma 0 press enter so we just need to specify the actual coordinates okay now if I want to move from A to B I'll specify 60 comma 0 press enter then from B to C I want to move so it will be 60 comma 8 from C to D if I want to move it will be 43 comma 8 D to E it will be 43 comma 22 e to f it will be 60 comma 22 f to g 60 comma 30 g to h 0 comma 30 and h to a it is 0 comma 0 and after this you can just press escape key or press enter key to come out of the command right so we can just draw this on the AutoCAD using this algorithm so you just need to type this and you will be able to get this figure right let us start drawing in AutoCAD let us move to the AutoCAD so you can just once see the algorithm line 0 comma 0 60 comma 0 60 comma 8 43 comma 8 43 comma 22 60 comma 22 60 comma 30 0 comma 30 0 comma 0 so let us move to the autocad again so i'll type line to activate line command press enter so it is asking me specify first point so first point is 0 comma 0 press enter right next is 60 comma 0 press enter next is 60 comma 8 press enter then it is 43 comma 8 press enter 43 comma 22 press enter 60 comma 22 press enter 60 comma 30 press enter 0 comma 30 press enter and then 0 comma 0 press enter and again you can press enter to come out of the command so this is the figure you can see this is the figure 
right so this figure we have drawn with the help of absolute coordinate method right so the next type of coordinate method is relative coordinate method right so under relative coordinate method you have to specify the distance moved in x direction and distance moved in y direction with respect to the previous point right so it is similar to absolute coordinate system as it is also a cartesian method okay it is it, it is of quad cartesian coordinates so let us try to discuss relative coordinate method so its syntax is at the rate distance moved in x direction comma distance moved in y direction right so let us see the algorithm so here also first of all we will select line command because we will draw this figure by line command select line command press enter the first point because when you select line command it will ask you specify the start point right so start point either you can take 0 comma 0 okay or you can take any other random point also the start point you cannot take with the help of relative coordinate method because it is the distance moved in x direction comma distance moved in y direction with respect to the previous point but when you are starting your figure or when you have activated line command it does not have any previous point okay we need to give a starting point and then we can move further right so for this you can specify 0 comma 0 again so this will be specified since it is x coordinate comma y coordinate so this will will be specified with the help of absolute coordinate system or you can click randomly anywhere wherever it is required okay after this you press enter now i have reached a i want to move from a to b so i'll write at the rate 60 comma 0 because if I am moving from A to B, I am moving 60 in X direction and 0 in Y direction. Right? If I am moving from B to C, I will write at the rate 0, 8. Why 0, 8? Because from B to C, I am not moving in X direction now. I am moving in Y direction only. Okay? again press enter so if i'm moving from c to d now so i'll write at the rate minus 17 comma 0 
so I am moving in negative x direction that is 17 and 0 in y direction press enter at the rate from D to E if I am moving it will be at the rate 0 comma 14 because I am moving 14 in y direction then at the rate if I am moving from E to F now so I'll write at the rate 17 comma 0 press enter F to G at the rate 0 comma 8 G to H at the rate minus 60 comma 0 H to A it is at the rate 0 comma minus 30 and after this you can press escape key to come out of the command right so let us move to the AutoCAD now to draw this figure using a relative coordinate method right let us move to the AutoCAD so again select line command press enter specify first point so instead of taking 0 comma 0 I am just randomly you know taking any point let us say this is the first point I am clicking over here now let us move further so it is at the rate 60 comma 0 according to the algorithm at the rate 0 comma 8 at the rate minus 17 comma 0 at the rate 0 comma 14 at the rate 17 comma 0 at the rate 0 comma 8 at the rate minus 60 comma 0 then at the rate 0 comma minus 30 press enter again press enter so you can come out of the command so this is the figure so you can see the same figure we have drawn by relative coordinate system also so we can dimension it first of all let us increase the line weight go to by layer increase the line weight let it be 0 0.60 okay go to linear dimensioning this is linear dimensioning this is 30 again go to linear dimensioning this is 60 linear dimensioning this is 8 this is 17 that's it so this is the figure so I hope the absolute coordinate system and relative coordinate system these two methods are clear to you thank you so much